And welcome back to The Factor on Censored. Just five months after 10 people died in the Astroworld Festival tragedy, we have a documentary on it. And while it looks for answers into what went wrong, the question still remains, is it too soon for us? It depends who you ask. Uh, I would say the majority of people uh, want answers. They want transparency. And uh, the people I interviewed in the film are desperate for answers. And it's been, what, five months now? Five months plus, and all we're getting is we're investigating this thing. Well, congratulations. You, you should be doing that. And we need some answers here because this was a, a colossal failure, top to bottom, side to side. And you were able to get some of the victims uh, to come forward uh, from the Astroworld concert. What were their injuries, if you can tell me that now? More psychological, uh, the PTSD on this thing uh, should never be overlooked or undermined. Um, so many psychological injuries, people seeing other people getting trampled upon, crushed, purple faces, people being passed out, uh, getting CPR, uh, you name it. Uh, this was, as I, as I said, just a fiasco across the board. I don't think uh, Houston police is uh, gotten uh, the heat that they deserve. Uh, one of the victims that night was dropped off of her stretcher, Barty Shahani, who went to A&M. And uh, the Houston police dropped her body and her head fell right on the concrete. So uh, the Houston police, they have the utmost authority to stop this thing. And Chief Finner actually met with Mr. Scott and his head of security uh, an hour or so before the concert began to express his concerns. That obviously didn't work. In your opinion, do you think the city or the county, and it's a county facility, should have stepped in and said, look, this is not ready to go. We should put this concert on hold until you get uh, security and, and all the measures in place to make sure the attendees are safe. Not until the concert started when Travis Scott set specifically started, because in 2018 and 19, don't forget, no one died. So the first question I had when I heard about this was, why did 10 people die in 21? What was the key difference that occurred in 21 that did not happen in 18 and 19? As soon as uh, they sensed some danger here, when Scott's set began, they should have stopped it. And sometimes in life, Isaiah, you have to go off script. Sometimes you have to. And in this case, everyone stood around. It was horrible security. Uh, Houston police did a poor job. Live Nation, score more, Travis Scott. In Travis Scott's case, don't tell me you didn't know something bad was happening when you yourself acknowledged an ambulance and you also acknowledged people passed out. So don't tell me you didn't know what was going on. This was a brutal concert. All right, we have other guests here on The Factor Uncensored. Uh, Joey Guerra from the Houston Chronicle and also Rob G. The General from the Vibe Power by KTSU uh, Radio. In your opinion, guys, we just saw maybe two months ago, someone put out a documentary on Hulu. Hulu eventually took it down saying it was too soon. Your thoughts on seeing a documentary so far on this Travis Scott uh, Astroworld case, your thoughts? Um, I mean, I, I, I think Charlie was right when he said it depends on who, who it is. I mean, I was actually there for the whole day. I was there till the end of the show. I covered this relentlessly in the weeks following and talked to a lot of the survivors. Um, for me personally, it's still, I'm, I'm still feeling sort of mentally a lot of the effects of this. So it's tough for me to think about watching a full on, you know, piece on a screen like this. Um, because even talking about it now, like I feel it in my body talking about it. You know, I've sort of made a really conscious effort in the last couple of months to kind of not because it was all consuming for a while um and I was you know I didn't I was unharmed I can't even imagine the people that were right in the thick of that you know much less people who died their families their friends I mean but even for people like me who were watching kind of and not in the direct mix this is a tough thing to think about and talk about even today absolutely and Rob G let's hear from you uh yeah, my feeling is it does feel too soon. It does feel soon. And while I agree with uh, Mr. Man that, you know, there are answers that need to be, uh, there, 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 we need some answers to find out how something so horrific could happen. Um, 
I think the pulse of the city, like I said, because so many people were injured, I mean, and like I said, you lost the loss of life of 10 people, 300 plus more injured. What's the ripple effect of the families and the friends who, uh, who are involved? For the most part, everyone knows somebody or at least another person who was affected by this. And no one is, I don't, there's no healing yet. There's no healing yet. And I don't know. I feel like uh, that's just going to rip open the wound on, uh, on, 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 on feelings that, that are already raw. Well, it will definitely be left up to the viewers. The movie is now out. Charlie, tell us where people can see it if they choose to. Yeah, if you don't mind, I just want to chime in on the two gentlemen that, that gave their opinion. Wouldn't it all depend on the content of the movie and what exactly is in the movie for people to say, oh, that was too early or no, I think that timing was right. I guess it's just it depends on the eye of the beholder. So uh, the movie will be we're gonna, actually going to have a free showing. It's going to be on Tuesday, the 12th of April at the Showbiz Movie Theater in Kingwood at seven o'clock, that's a free screening. This is all about the message. This is not about the money. I don't need people's money. This is about the message. And people got hurt that day, um, just a horrible situation. So Tuesday, free screening on the 12th, 7 p.m. Showbiz Kingwood. And then it's gonna open up for good on the 29th at Showbiz Kingwood along with Escape Katie and Escape Conroe. That's the Escape movie chain. All the information is on concertcrushfilm.com. I think what helps with this is it's also more of an investigative piece, getting at answers, and also you have victims who are participating. We want to thank you all for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. If you want to get out and see it, make sure you check it out.